Oh boy. Super Trucker Emily on the way. somebody who's able to take them down for us but they weren't able to today so we had some really good couple bonding time this morning um, loading up the animal we only got into two arguments in a two minute time period um, and now we're at the processor we'll drop the animal off and then head home it's like a three hour round trip three and a half hour round trip um, to the processor which is why it's really nice when we're able to have the other person haul it down but it is what it is, and also on our way home, we get to pick up different parts and stuff. It's a bit froggy here. We have to pick up some stuff from Hennessy. Do you have to pick up anything from Richie's? No. From Richie's, and I get to drive this truck home while Avery drives the chopper home. I guess it works out that we're coming down here. Well, Avery is hopping up to make sure the chopper starts before we go pick up the processor for it that I'll be hauling back in the truck. You guys better pray for me. So many good vibes because processors are expensive and I don't drive truck and trailer very often. Well, it looks like it fired up. Fire right up. Wasn't too happy about it, but she's running. Uh -oh. oh boy. Super trucker Emily on the way. See if she remembers she's got a trailer behind her. This is my ride. You see how she takes the corner? She's nervous. She easily could have went there, but I think there's a semi coming. Yeah. Don't matter. She can take her time. Look at her looking out the window at me. Spout not home. Looks pretty home to me. I think that needs to be recalibrated, but we'll worry about that in a later date. Here we go. There's Hennessy right there. That's our dealership. This is more of their stuff. And our sprayer's actually up there too. Ready to get work done. Well, I successfully made it back to the farm without um, wrecking anything, at least I think. I haven't opened up the trailer to see what the processor looks like, but we made it back. And I actually, I feel like I did a good job and I made good time and I kept up. There's a grain semi in front of me. Um, there's a grain semi in front of me and I kept up with them for quite a while, which I thought was a success um, Until I got to some really curvy roads, but you know what we made her All good. 
Okay, Avery made it back to the farm with the chopper, and then we just ate lunch, and they're gonna go finish bedding at some of the heifer pens, and then I am going to start moving the calves. It's Wednesday, we normally don't clean the calf barn until Thursday, but we're getting it done today so that we can haul manure tomorrow. This cat has just been sitting in the grain all. Is it because you got kicked out of the calf barn? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's okay. That one's meowing too. Oh my goodness. Into the calf barn we come to move the calves and we'll get to clean them. Whoa. They're going crazy. They're going the wrong direction. Let's go. Calf barn cleaning is all done. I had to wrangle quite a few calves because it's supposed to be like in the 40s this week, which is crazy for Wisconsin. It literally feels like March weather, not January. Um, this was filmed on January 31st. So wrangled a bunch of calves, took their calf jackets off just because they're bigger calves, older calves, and it's gonna be so warm out. Job's all done. This calf, 491 is obsessed with me. Oh no. Oh buddy. Yeah, job is all done. Like I said. I sound like Mason when I say it. Yeah. Yeah. are empty so I'm gonna fill a grain and then that'll be it for this Wednesday here for me at least on the farm taking the animal down to the processor in the calf barn. Our calves get free choice of this calf starter it's as you can see we've got corn in here. Those all have like protein and minerals carbohydrates all the things that they need to grow big and strong. And a calf starter is super important because it helps develop the rumen, which is what they need as ruminant animals to be able to digest forages later. So that's why we feed this. We've been getting this spreader fixed up here, welding the splash guard on the back of it. Got ripped off at some point, kind of like that one. Did some work in the by the chains, and then Dad built this new deflector here, and we put all new pan underneath it. Right now we're finishing up the splash guard in the back here, working on that. Got it welded on the back, got it pretty much welded up. Dad's making this last piece right here for the other side. And it goes a triangle right there down. I gotta fill in that gap, so that'll be fun on the rusty metal, but see how it goes. Well, we got her all welded up, fixed up. We'll get her hooked up to a tractor. We got three of them, so we got one of them running right now and trying to get them back up and running, but put that out somewhere in the yard and it'll be ready to go when it's needed. Looks like it's going right here. I think he wants this one hooked up instead of the other one. This one's in better shape than the other one that we're using now, so. built this deflector way heavier than we normally do so 
That's good. See if it lasts. Thank you so much for watching our video and always coming back to our channel. In our upcoming videos, you'll see us prepare with our Pro Stock New Holland tractor for the National Farm Machinery Show. And then a lot of fun content is coming up from when we actually went to the National Farm Machinery Show. You'll want to come back and check that out. But again, thank you guys so much for always watching our channel, supporting us. We would not be here without you guys. If you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on your bell notifications so you can know every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching.